It is a privilege to be joined on the summit today by Olivia Coopwood, who has been named as the new track and field coach at Oklahoma Wesleyan University. First off, let's start right there. Congratulations, coach, on the new opportunity. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Now, listen, you have uh, you've had some experience coaching already. You were most recently a volunteer assistant at Division One at Duke University. Uh, talk about your experience there and, and what will that uh, how will that translate over? I mean, when I went to Duke, it was such an amazing experience. You know, um, I worked alongside Coach Mark Miller and um, I worked with the sprints in the hurdle, both men and women. So he did teach me a lot about, you know, his technique, his coaching philosophy, um, what to do and what not to do. <laughs> so um, my experience there, I was there for, you know, the whole season for indoor and outdoor. So um, it was just an amazing experience getting to know all the athletes, getting to talk to them and, you know, helping them on their journey to success was um, pretty much my biggest goal. And it was the most impressive thing. Um, so the way I would translate it to working at SAG, I mean, sorry, to working at um, Oklahoma Wesleyan University is um, honestly, I want them to get to know the what they're teaching D1 athletes as well. You know, I feel like they should have that share as well. You know, um, they should be able to have the opportunity to know, hey, what's some of the workouts they do? Or what is it like to take track seriously or be at that level or be a champion? So, yeah. Now, I'm glad you mentioned men's and women's track because you're overseeing both programs there, too. So not just the women's yes. track and field, also also the men's track and field. And, and the previous coach did that as well. Uh, in talking about Oklahoma Wesleyan and you are talking about what you see uh, translating from Division One to that, what caught your attention and, and brings you then to Northeast Oklahoma and NAI? Honestly, um, I have to say it was a Christian university. So that really caught my attention. I just wanted to be in an environment where um, we have the same faith. Um, it really makes a difference on your lifestyle, how you live, and you know, just being around people who are like you makes a huge impact on who you are. I'm glad you said that. We're going we're gonna to talk about that in just a moment. We're with Olivia Coopwood here on the Summit on Midwest Sportsnet, and I encourage you, please continue to watch our videos here. It's the summer. We're previewing college football along the way, and we just enjoy talking about small college sports throughout the Midwest and beyond. Coach, then let's, let's continue on. A quote that they have for you on the Oklahoma Wesleyan website uh, catches some tension. My, uh, catches some attention, excuse me. My duty as a head coach is, is to lead, inspire, and develop. Coaching is my ministry. It's the way that I spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm the coach, and God is my director. God's going to show out at Oklahoma Wesleyan University, and I, I'm excited for what's to come. I love the way that reads. Coach, talk about that a little bit. Thank you. Honestly, that just hit me right in that moment, you know. Um, God knows that I've been waiting. <laughs> he knows that I've been waiting to, you know, get in the game and, you know, start coaching because, you know, I've been a volunteer coach for a minute. So I was just kind of waiting for God to make that move, you know. So when I say, you know, God's directing me, you know, he finally said, okay, I want you to coach them, you know. So um, he knows I've been waiting. I felt like it's been a long time. It's been really hard because I've been working overnight and then volunteering during the day. And I also have a seven-year-old daughter, so it hasn't really been easy, you know. So when I was thinking about just having this opportunity, you know, and he'd been directing me through it the whole way, I couldn't help but say, you know, he's directing me this whole way. And I know it's his purpose that I'm going to be coaching at this school. That is fantastic to hear, Coach. It really, it really, really is. Now, you have spent time not just at uh, Duke University. You also spent time at Texas Christian, TCU, yes. also Division One program. And it wasn't that long ago that you were competing. I mean, it's just been about five years. So yeah. you're you're uh, relatively new, I, I guess, to the coaching ranks. I guess I'm trying. I'm not trying to say you're young, but I, I it it's has okay. been that long ago. <laughs> So uh, competed at VCU. Talk about your your opportunities uh, competing at the Division One level, also. Oh wow! So I mean, I started at Coastal Carolina during undergrad, and because um, I do have a daughter, you know, I had her while I was in college. Um, so I had a red shirt that year, you know, and that's always been a testimony of mine to just keep going and go for what you want. You know, God's gonna guide you. He can always turn um, a disaster into a blessing. And, you know, that's what I always tell people, you know, my daughter is my 
biggest blessing because I would have never been at VCU if it wasn't for her, if I didn't have a red shirt. So, you know, she completely changed my life. So um, when I had that extra red shirt, I was just like, you know what, let me go ahead and do grad school. So I contacted the coach from Virginia Commonwealth University. And honestly, it was the best year of my life. Um, even though it was a challenge competing and um, doing grad school, all my classes were technically on the weekend. So I didn't really have much time to compete during that time period because, you know, I had to be in class. So I mainly competed during holidays, you know, because that's the only time we didn't have class. And I had, um, it was really tough not being able to compete all the time. But then, you know, by the time conference came and I put my head on focus and I said, you know what, this is what I want. I worked so hard for this. You know, I'm going to go and get it. Um, no one expected me to win. I mean, my coach truly did believe in me, you know, but I was ranked number 14 going into the race. So, you know, I was just like, oh, my gosh, I'm ranked number 14. Um, I was extremely nervous, but I was so excited at the same time. But I definitely didn't want that to be my last race. So, you know, when I got on the line, I just said, okay, we just need a win. You know, we just need a win and take everything that we learned and leave it on the track. So that's what I did. And um, I won that race. And I was so happy. All my family was there. My friends were there cheering on me. So that's what makes it so beautiful when you have a huge support system. And I hope that you'll get that same support system from the folks uh, who are sending their kids to Bartlesville to get to compete under you. So let me ask oh, you yes. as we wrap up our time here. <laughs> When spring rolls around and I and you have time to recruit a little more and, and to get into Oklahoma and, and unpack and all that good stuff, too, yeah. uh, I'll let you get through the summer. When spring rolls around and some folks are coming out and they're watching meet wherever you are throughout the KCAC, what will they see from teams you're, you're coaching? I definitely want them to see God working through us. That's my main goal. Um, every time we hit the track, our goal is to let them see how – wonderful we are let them see our sportsmanship how respectful we are how loving we are i remember when i used to run um at the high school level uh, people would always tell my mom oh my gosh i just love to see her run it's just like amazing to see her run and people don't even know that you can god can show out through you even when you're competing when you don't give up you know when you don't give up crossing that finish line um, there was one race when I was at BTU. It was my first race of the season. And I was doing the 400-meter hurdles. And I actually fell over the third hurdle really hard. I had a big scar on my leg. I got up. And I literally kept running. And I won that heat because I got up. And the goal is always to finish. Finish that battle because it's always going to be beautiful at the end. Always. It's going to amaze people. So I want people to see how amazing we are, how strong we are, how powerful we are with God on our side. And that's very important to me. All right. Well, I, I'm going to use your phrase, Coach. God's going to yeah. show out. So I, yeah. I'm going to use that phrase, and I'll give you credit most of the time. All right. Uh, but no, I, absolutely, I love that. And, and we'll, we'll, we're we'll going to co-op that phrase right here. God's going to show out. I just love that. Yeah. Coach Olivia Cooper, thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the Summit. And we will follow the Eagles into the spring of 2024. And we're looking forward to seeing what God does in your program as well. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.